Hey guys, my name is Batimio, and recently a fair amount of you have been requesting that I do a weapon review of some of the pistols or just one of the pistols. I'm not really sure why I haven't done a pistol review sooner. I mean, I've done, you know, I've got the field test review, I've got the Naked Gun series, and I've pretty much done a review of pr almost all of the primary weapons out there, but I haven't ever dabbled in the uh, the pistols themselves. Uh, so for today, we're going to be taking a look at the M1911, one of my uh, top tiered pistols in the game for Battlefield 3, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of jump on in here. Uh, so what makes the M1911 unique to the other pistols out there is that it has one of the higher damage models out there. It, at close range or at 10 meters, it's going to do 34 damage a shot. Uh, but then when you start to go further and further out, it's going to drop very significantly and its uh, its lowest damage is 14.3 damage a shot, which is around 50 meters. Uh, so if you're able to stay up close and personal, it's going to take you only three shots to take out your target. Uh, but the one downside, though, is that you're going to need to make sure you make uh, every single one of your bullets count because one of the downsides of the M1911 is that it doesn't really have a very large magazine size. Uh, you only get nine rounds in your magazine and if you are like me, uh, you go through that extremely quickly and I find more often than not, I, you know, I'm out of ammunition and the enemy is just going to uh, pump a bunch of bullets into my face. Uh, so that that is a downside of it though. Uh, kind of another downside, I guess, is that it also has has uh, one of the longer reload times out of the pistols. I mean, granted, it's not as long as uh, the Magnum or the Rex, uh, but uh, it's got a short reload time of 1.75 and a long reload time of 2.05. Uh, granted, this isn't in an eternity by any means. 1.75 seconds uh, is not very long, but when you compare it to something like the uh, the G17, that's it's got a 1.35 for its short and a 1.64 it's long. Uh, it's long reload time is shorter than the uh, the short reload time of the M1911. Uh, so granted, it does have a nice damage model, but you're gonna have to kind of compensate that for not having a lot of rounds in your in your magazine, and you're gonna have to sacrifice for a little bit longer reload time. Granted, like I said, the reload time isn't that much longer, but still, if you get into a tight situation where you need a fast reload, then the M1911 just isn't gonna perform as well as some of the others. Uh, as for for its rounds per minute, it has an RPM of 333, which is about average for the single shot pistols. Uh, but I, I, I really like it. It doesn't, it's not crazy fast by any means, but it's exactly the same as the SKS for the recon class. Uh, if you guys seen my field test review of that weapon, you'll know that I really like it and I like the feel of the RPM on it. Uh, it doesn't lock on you very often, and that's the same for the M1911. Uh, as long as you have a steady trigger finger, you're going to have absolutely no problem problem getting plenty of rounds down range. Uh, granted, it is not as fast, or it's not the fastest for the single shot, uh, but I feel like it's a comfortable RPM where as long as you know the rhythm of it, you're going to be fine and uh, uh, it's more than adequate. Uh, so now that you guys have a better understanding of the weapon statistics, I kind of wanted to go into more detail as to when to use this weapon appropriately, when you might want to equip it, and really, in general, you're going to want to play this with this pistol up close and personal. And I know that's pretty much true for all the pistols out there, but it's more so for the M1911. Uh, the first reason being is that you're really going to want to take advantage of its high uh, close quarter damage model. I mean, 34 damage is a lot, and it's only going to take you three shots to take out your target. Uh, but the further and further out your target is, uh, it's going to, the damage is going to drop off very, very quickly. Uh, and so for me, trying to go for long range targets with this weapon, uh, because it only has nine rounds in its magazine, and because the long range damage is very low. Uh, I more often than not will just completely run out of ammunition. I'll have to reload. They'll be notified that I was trying to take some pot shots at them, and then they will proceed to uh, shoot my face off. Uh, so really, you're going to want to kind of play up close and personal. Uh, but not only that, you're going to really want to make sure that you make every single one of your shots count, because if you do get into a tight situation where you need to take out two or even three targets, uh, if, if it's three targets, you're going to have to make every single one of your
of your shots count. And I know that's not really going to happen. Uh, not even for me, even if I wanted to, uh, there's no way I'm probably going to be able to take out three targets. Uh, but for two targets, you're definitely going to want to make sure uh, you're only shooting about four into the enemy and then switching to the next target and not wasting a single bullet because uh, you really don't have a lot of room for air. Uh, so the gameplay you guys are seeing here, I was just playing on some TDM. I just thought that would be a good way to get you guys some footage and even go against some players uh, that were using assault rifles. And as you guys can see, because of the high damage model and because I was trying to make sure that I was getting into close encounter engagements and making sure all of my shots counted, uh, I was winning some gunfights even with people that were using AEKs. Uh, granted, some of them probably weren't the best shots, but still, I mean, it kind of just shows you the power of the M1911 when you guys do use it uh, appropriately and in the right situations. Uh, but overall, I really like this weapon. It's got a lot of killing potential. Granted, it does have its weaknesses, but what weapon in Battlefield 3 doesn't? Uh, so if you haven't tried out the M1911, I highly recommend it. Uh, but that's it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed. If you did or just want to support my channel, I always appreciate it when you give my videos a rating. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. But until next time, guys, have a good one and take it easy.